Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Ninja Theory, the show with the worst upload schedule. Anyways, as you guys know, Dragon Dragon Season 2 Part 2 is just around the corner. And as much as we'd be hyped, we're kind of over that hype since it got leaked three months ahead. And if you don't know, I saw it when it first came out on Peacock and spent the whole night watching it. I wrote a review and everything on it, planning to talk about it, till I felt it was kind of wrong. So I've decided to hold off on this review until now. So with the official release of it right around the corner, will it still hold the expectation that I had for it three months ago? Well, let's find out. But before any of that, let me remind you, only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. So please do subscribe. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. Anyways, enjoy. All right, so basically at first I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 and also give a few points that I had that I, some I really do want to touch on. So the first is Jay and Nia's fight. Jay and Nia have been like the main couple in Ninjago for like years now, basically. But in this season, they're not. And he says, I hate you. Now, first of all, the fight is pretty disappointing. And secondly, the word hate was kind of overused and they should have used other words like I despise you Nia stuff like that and let's all be honest Kai's return is honestly the sickest thing in Ninjago I've ever seen since the final battle Kai is finally gained that redemption arc he needed and I'm so happy with what they're doing so Lego keep it up now, my final point for the July review is that Aaron's rogueness, you could say. And to be honest, I think this is a really smart idea. Being that you can evolve Aaron's character more this way, in my opinion. Allow him to switch sides, fall, and then get back up, rise right to the top. This is an incredible way to do it. It's going to work out so well, in my opinion. Now, after watching the season... I can say I actually give it a 7 out of 10. The reasons why are, again, the cringe, but there's a few other things I want to include, which one I'll bring up right now. It's trying to be nostalgic to the original tournament of elements, but it's not. It's a new idea and a new story. It's just part of it just sucks in my opinion. Another point is, where are the other elemental masters like Skylar, Karloff, or even Griffin Turner? People like Neuro and the Master of Form and Tox, they all show up. Why don't the others? Are they dead or are they lost? I have no idea. And I mean, come on, who didn't notice that the challenges were all rigged? It was a pretty obvious point. Other things as well is, Zayn has become weak all of a sudden, which is just strange. The mech as well, that was just a random point there for, I don't know why. And then you also have the tournament has really never been brought up for. If it's that famous, shouldn't we already know? And lastly, Wildfire and Roby. Um, yeah. And lastly, something I didn't put in any of these is, Wu caused the merge and it confirms possibly our theory with the Time Twins and how that one short for the 10 year anniversary could heavily be involved in this theory. So hey, that's another theory for another day. But yeah, that's my review now and then. It's an alright season, uh, it could be better though. But anyways, what do you guys think? Is it the best season you've ever seen? Tell me in the comments below. Anyways, see y'all next time.